this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. This is the card we're making today. It's a piano card done as an easel, and it's using the Music from the Heart stamp set. I have that down here on my desk. This is an adorable stamp set. We didn't have anything that was really music related, so this was very cool to have come out. I'm starting with a card base that is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then I scored it at two and three quarter. That's where my easel part's going to be. So that's gonna be my card base. And then I have another piece of cardstock that was four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I went on the internet and I just found a piano, like a graphic of one, printed it out, and then I just traced it just to get a slope. I'm sure there's people out there that are more creative than me and could just cut that out with scissors. It would come out beautifully. And then I have two pieces of cardstock that are four inches by two and a half. Now one of them's gonna go on the front of the card and one of them's gonna go on the inside. So those are those two. That's in Whisper White. I also had two strips of Whisper White that were 11 inches by half an inch. And then I cut them into two and a half inch sections. And so I have eight little pieces that are half inch by two and a half. These are gonna be my white piano keys. And then I had the classic label punch. I used this punch to punch out a bunch of black cardstock. This will be my black keys. And all I'm gonna do is take the point off of one end and then leave it on this end. So I also need seven of those. And I needed seven because there wasn't quite enough room. So this one on the end, I'm gonna be cutting in half long ways. So that will go on the outside. So then I'm gonna bring in my card and I'm gonna do this with liquid glue so that I have some wiggle time. And I'm gonna lay this right on the edge. And then I'm gonna take my next one and lay it right on the edge. And I'm gonna give a little tiny spacing in between, not much, but just a little. And then go down that way with the keys. The liquid glue works great for this because it doesn't dry right away. When it does dry, it's gonna be clear, it's gonna stick really well, but it gives me just like, I don't know, a second or two to move things around so that I can be sure I have it lined up exactly where I want it, which helps me work with that little spacing in between the keys. Okay, so this one on the end is just a little bit too long, but that's okay. I'm just going to come up from the back side and trim off the excess. And there I have my white piano keys. Now, like I said, for the black keys, I'm using these little labels and just cutting off the one end. And I'm going to put these on with mini dimensionals so that they pop up a little bit because the black keys do pop up higher than the other, but also because that's going to be the stop for our easel. And then I just looked on the internet to see what piano keys laid out look like, because I have never played the piano, but I have a granddaughter who does, so she will love this little card. One granddaughter plays the piano, and another one plays the guitar, and then the third one does violin, so they're all very musically gifted. Now for these little tiny ones I cut in half, I also cut in half my mini dimensional. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when I cut it, because there was the point at the end. Now, you don't have to keep the point. You could cut that off square if you wanted. But because I have the point, I want to make sure that that angles up towards the inside. So when I go to put the dimensionals on, I want to make sure the direction of my little... Hopefully by now you know that we are in full swing of celebration, and there's been lots of fabulous deals out there that hopefully you've taken advantage of for hostesses, for joining, for just purchasing, lots of great stuff. And then we also just released coordination, 
which is some products that are coming out of catalog just as a limited time release that are going to coordinate with some things in the January to June catalog and some things will coordinate with the celebration stamp sets. There's several different sets of dies and then there's some DSP and some vellum. Lots of great stuff so you might want to go over to my blog and take a look. I do appreciate those of you who purchase from me. It keeps me in business and able to keep doing these for you. Okay, with the white cardstock, I'm going to take the treble clef first. I'm going to ink that up in memento black ink. And I'm putting it on there so I know where that fits because it is the largest stamp I'm using height wise. I can't read music, so I apologize if this doesn't make sense, but I am going to stamp some little music notes on there so that it does look like sheet music. And because it's going to be up here, people will still be able to see it when the card is um, closed because the piano piece is going to go over the top like that and just partially cover it but then show it when the cards open and the piano keys being on the stamp and dimensionals is what raises this up and allows the piano lid to rest against it to hold the card open so i'm going to use the inside sentiment of you're the music to my heart and then again, just a couple of random notes. So that will fit on the inside. Now for the outside of our card, I wanted to have a bow using this glitter, glittered organdy ribbon in black, but I'm not good at making the bow and then having the ends go straight across. So I kind of cheat a little bit and I take the ribbon and I wrap it around and adhere it on the back side. And I do this before I hook it to my card or adhere it to my card so that these little pieces will be hidden so they will not know that I have this just partially wrapped around there. And then I can go ahead and make my bow and adhere it over the top. And this allows me more maneuverability to mess with it because, you know, obviously the, the things wanna go this way. And so I'm gonna go ahead and let them go that way and then just have the other piece go straight. So I'll just flag the ends of that. And then I'm gonna put this on with glue dots and I'm just lifting up the bow a little bit, so I'm only adhering the glue dot to the back side because I don't want it to flatten out my bow, I just want to adhere it. Being a mesh material, the adhesive would leak all the way through if I pressed it real hard. And then I took a piece of 3 8 inch um, Whisper White cardstock. It's about three inches long. And then I used this Just a Note to stamp my sentiment on the outside. And then I'm still going to use my triple banner punch. And it's not going to fit in the little grooves per se as these being, you know, measured out. But I can still stick this in here and line it up from the back side to where I think it's centered and punch it out. So that lets me use this for any size piece of cardstock to flag the end. Now you could also make it, you know, find the center and make a little dot and then you can go in with your paper snips and make the flag as well. So I'm going to put that on my piano lid and then like I said we're only going to be adhering to the bottom not to the top. And now my card's almost ready. All I need to do is pull out my stitched B mine dies and cut a heart out of real red. And my card will be ready to go. I hope you like today's card. 
and that you give it a try. It's an adorable stamp set and a fun, fun fold for anybody who's musically inclined. So again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being out there and watching me do Facebook Live and for shopping in my store. I do appreciate those that shop and support my business, which supports me in doing these videos for you. So thank you, and I will see you next Monday at 2.30 for another Facebook Live. Thanks for joining me. Bye.